So here's what it looked like before and here's what we did. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Recently, a game-changing feature called Generative AI was introduced in Photoshop, completely revolutionizing the text-to-image industry. I seriously thought Me Journey had it all when it came to creating images from text prompts, but boy, I was wrong. I don't want to play with you anymore. And so in this video, I will show you how you can enhance your thumbnails using this amazing feature. Let me tell you that if you master this tool, First, you will never have to hire a thumbnail designer. And second, it's gonna be super easy to take that image you have in your head and put it on an actual thumbnail. So to get access to the tool, you need to have Photoshop. Uh, you can get a free trial as well, but I do recommend you buy it because as you can see, it's about 20 bucks per month. Or if you want to use all uh, Adobe apps, then just get the Creative Cloud All Apps package for $55, which is what I use as well. And I find it very much worth the price. So once you have Photoshop installed, open Creative Cloud and as of the recording of this video, this tool is only available in the beta apps section. So in order to get access to generate the fill, you will need to install Photoshop beta. So for this, I'm gonna use an existing thumbnail from Mr. Beast. You may have already seen this exact thumbnail being edited all over Twitter. So we're gonna do the same here. <laughs> we're gonna keep it simple, but not to say this thumbnail isn't already perfect. We're just gonna add a couple of things to just show you how this tool works. Really, all you have to do is just come up here and select object selection tool. And so this will automatically help you select the object. So let's click on the plate here and add a generative fill. Yes, let's agree. And since Mr. Beast is really hungry, let's give him a nice pizza. And let's hit generate and it should give us in a moment a couple of AI generated pizzas ready to eat. So we've got three options here of cooked pizza. These are all pretty nice. Now let's do something fun. Uh, we can do the same things with the lasso tool as well. And let's just select his hair and click on generate the fill. And let's give Mr. Beast a nice chef hat. <laughs> that should be fun. <laughs> well, I, th I think this one is perfect. <laughs> so it already gives us a couple more options, exactly three options. It changed the hair color on this one. So this one is not good, but I think the first one is perfect. This is good, it's good. All right, now we can continue using the Lasso tool or we can even select the rectangular marquee tool. So if you want to get a nice little painting here, we can add it here. So let's add the only painting that makes sense for Mr. Beast. Painting of money. <laughs> Dude, I'm having fun. I ha I'm having so much fun with this tool. Well, that doesn't look like painting. I think I did a small mistake in prompting here. So if I just don't want this, I can just hide this layer or delete it overall. So let's try again. Uh, let's just add a golden frame painting on the wall. Yes, this is perfect. So now that we have a golden painting on the wall, we need to match the vibe and add a golden fork as well. So let's go back to the lasso tool and holding shift, let's select both the top part and the bottom half of the fork. And now let's put in a prompt let's say golden fork, hit generate. And there you go, we have a golden fork. We can choose from three different outputs. This one looks pretty nice, so I'm gonna keep it. To make things a little bit more interesting, why don't we just expand the image a little bit? And this is where the magic of AI comes in place. Because what we can do here is make sure to select some of the area that is actually existing and then also select the area that is completely empty and hit generate a fill and let's see what it does. And voila! <laughs> well, for some reason our painting is gone, <laughs> but that's okay. We have an extended hand here, which is nice. So that's how it works, it's pretty simple. There is another method of doing this and that is with a matching wand. I don't really recommend using this because if we only select an empty area, then the generative AI will have a little bit less information to work with. So as we can see, if we just select generate here, it's gonna do its job. But as you can see, the results are kind of weird. The AI tool doesn't really know what to do if you just give it an empty space. So now, as you can see, we've got a bunch of layers here and they're gonna mess with each other if we try to generate any more items. For example, if I would want to try generate a new background, 
it's gonna be really tricky. So to fix this, all we need to do is just hold down shift and select all the layers we have and right click on it and merge layers. So now it's pretty much a new canvas. We can do everything we want and it's not gonna be disrupted in any way. And there's one button here that I haven't touched yet and it's this remove background. So let's go ahead and click it and see what it does. Okay, well, that wasn't effective. <laughs> That wasn't really effective. So let's go back and do it manually. So let's go ahead and select the magic wand tool. I have it selected already. So by holding down shift, I can select multiple things. So I'm gonna select both sides. We're gonna add generate your fill and let's add a kitchen behind it. Let's see what it does. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm actually positively surprised. I'm not sure what happened here, but the background is looking pretty cool. Okay, this one is better. The fork somehow <laughs> replaced with a spoon. I guess you're gonna eat pizza with a spoon now. I do like the background of this kitchen more, but well, here we have at least a spoon. So yeah, obviously it's still in beta. If you're not happy with the results at first, you can always just regenerate and do some more prompting. The possibilities with this tool are endless. You can go crazy with it and I've been loving it. You can see how much I'm having fun with this. <laughs> It really is. It really is fun. In any case, if you found this tutorial helpful and want to stay updated on the latest AI updates and tools, do consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content. I will see you in the next